Long, his head started to nod, and his eyelids began to droop. Then along came Woodpecker, who has no respect for his neighbors. <laughs> said the baby owl. Ooh. 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 Yep, and Cooper. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was good. You're, you're right in the story. You're right in the story. Oops. He was reading. Oops, sorry, said Woodpecker. I didn't know there was a sleepy baby owl on the other side of this tree. I'm not sleepy, shouted Baby Owl. I was thinking. I was a very... I was a very wise, and we spend lots of time thinking, you know. Then along came Dad. You look very sleepy, Baby Owl, said Dad. It's time you were in bed. But I'm not sleepy, cried Baby Owl. Everyone keeps telling me that I am, but I'm not. I'm thinking. I'm thinking too, Baby Owl, said Dad, lifting Baby Owl from his bench. And I'm thinking that sleepy or not, you are certainly very grumpy. Come in now, and I will read you a bedtime story. All right, Dad, said Baby Owl, snuggling into his bed. So. But make it a nice long story. He's all Sleepy? Dad smiled. Baby Owl was fast asleep. Good night, Baby Owl. Cooper's like, if that woodpecker ever comes around again, I will cut him. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. Okay, time for some food.